Jennifer and Kelly Hall wondered if this day would ever come. Their son Caleb barely tipped the scales at one pound nine ounces when he was born nearly four months premature. We were terrified. We knew that it was way too early to have babies. But now more babies born at such a young age are surviving thanks to a surprising new approach. In the past, doctors would test, handle, and move these babies often in an effort to more closely monitor them, but not anymore. They still should be in the womb, so everything that we do mimics them being in the womb. To do that, Columbus Children's Hospital has developed new guidelines that are being adopted at hospitals across the country. They call for a hands-off approach. Now babies are placed in dark incubators with humidifiers to better simulate a mother's womb. And doctors and nurses handle the babies as little as possible. Keeping the head in one position has been shown to prevent problems like bleeding in the brain. Columbus Children's physician Leif Nellen, who is also with The Ohio State University, says since the new guidelines have been put into place, the number of babies lost to severe prematurity has been cut by 75 percent. The amount of IV fluid we've had to use has gone down dramatically. The amount of blood sugar problems we've had has gone down dramatically. And the amount of blood pressure problems we've had has gone down dramatically. So we've made a huge impact on the number of patients that survived to the first week of life. And that impact is felt in other ways, too. By making these babies feel at home in the hospital, they're able to go home with their parents about three weeks sooner. At Columbus Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting. Get it, Taylor.